This is the LCD screen for the Ranger and Interceptor bikes. We're going to go over the major functions and how it works, what it demonstrates, and how it displays. This here is your power button. Hold it down for about a second and a half. As it powers up, the screen comes on. In the top left corner, it shows you your time. In the top right corner, it shows your battery percentage, or you could change that to voltage later on. In the center is your speed that you're driving, and around the outside it shows your wattage of how much energy you're using. In the bottom left there's a trip, and you see on the right side it says 3.5 miles. Over here under the I button, if you press that, you can go from your trip to the actual odometer on the bike, the max speed it's driven, the average speed that it rides at, and then your range based on how you're pedaling and how you're using pedal assist. Your pedal assist are the buttons here. Right now we're in one. If I turn it to zero, it's off. You're just riding it like a standard bicycle. You can go up to one, two, three, four, and five different levels of pedal assist. And you can move them back and forth depending on how you want to ride your bike. Now to, there's also a light button here that'll turn the headlight on or off. Down here in this corner there's a photo light which lets the light come on automatically in the evening or low light conditions. For the programming side, you'll hit the information button twice. You'll see on the green display settings, you'll hit the information button one more time. Then it will bring all of your settings. Your first one is the unit. You hit your information button one other time, it'll move to the right side of the screen. At this point, you can go up to metric, hit it up again, it'll go back to imperial. Information will bring you back over to the side. As you move down, the brightness, that's the brightness of the screen in daylight. It will go from 100 down to 10%. The auto off is set at 5 minutes right now. That's when this will shut off if you're not using the bicycle. You can set it between 0 and 9 minutes or completely shut it off where it will stay on at all times. Your eco and sport mode. Eco mode gets the best life out of the battery. Sport mode gives you a little more torque. Power view. Shows the power in the screen. When we go back on, you saw that it was in a percentage. If you hit it into power mode, it'll show amperage instead of wattage around the outside bar. The SOC view of percent, you can change that to voltage in the top right corner. Your trip reset, you can reset the trip. You just simply hit the information button over, tell it yes, and it'll reset your trip. Your wheel needs to be set up for the bike you have. We have 26 inch wheels, so it's already set there. You go down to speed limits at 31, that's for your max wattage. As you lower that, you can set it at a lower speed for younger or inexperienced drivers. As you lower the speed, it will lower the wattage down to a 750 watt bike. The AL sensitivity is how much light that that photo sensor needs to actually turn on. The password is so you can put a four digit pin in there. So when you have to power the bike on, you'll need that four digit pin to be able to turn the bike on or off. You can set the clock. After you've made all of your adjustments, simply go back, hit the information again, using your plus or minus again, scroll down to exit, hit your information, all of your new settings will be in the display. Alright, if you want to set in the password protect on the LCD screen to keep somebody from powering up your bicycle, you'll simply use the information button twice quickly, display settings, information one more time. Plus and minus, scroll down to password, information, down one, information, down one to turn it on, information again. Now it's going to ask for your numbers. You'll use the plus or minus to pick your numbers. We're just going to go zero, information, zero, information. It'll ask you to confirm those numbers. And now your password has been set. You can hit the information button twice again. You're now out. Power your bicycle off. Now nobody can take your bicycle in power mode when they turn the power on. They'll have to enter that number the same way you set it. And now the bicycle is ready to move. If you want to remove the pin number, you do the same steps and remove the pin number.